to Maui now, where after numerous delays, the long-awaited parking structure in Wailuku is set to open early next month. Supply chain issues and staffing are part of the setbacks, and county planners warn that future projects might be affected. Removing debris from the burn zones is the priority. Max Rodriguez has more. Decisions will be made in the coming years as to what projects may have to be stalled in Maui County. Efforts to rebuild Lahaina taking priority. I believe a lot of projects, unless they are uh, related to public health and safety, will have to be delayed. It's not only we don't have all the resources, we don't have all the money to take care of those, address those projects. County Council Chair Alice Lee anticipates most people will be understanding when it comes time to decide which projects may face delays. The debris removal in Kula just started last week. As that starts to move forward in Lahaina, probably every truck on the island will be hired to complete that debris removal process. Meanwhile, a major project in Wailuku is just weeks from being completed. A new parking structure with the capacity to fit 390 cars, costing more than $30 million. Work broke ground in March of 2020. It was expected to be completed in just under two years. Supply chain issues and worker shortage during COVID added to the delays. There's still railing needed to come in before the structure can open. And then as soon as the installation happens, we'll open in our projection is early December. Parking fees will be waived until July as parking rates are decided on. You have employees, you have customers, and you have residents. So all three, you know, uh, will be competing for those same stalls. A blessing of the parking structure will take place this Friday. Max Rodriguez, KH1 News, working for Hawaii.